Today in GarageBand, we're going to practice looking at the different structures within loops, looking at and studying what the difference is between a melodic and a rhythmic loop set. So for this one, you don't have to worry about the previous creation we did. We're going to go in and start a new one. So create a new song. Make sure you're in the live loops, not the tracks. So make sure you're at live loops at the top. I'm going to use dubstep for this, and please follow along with me in dubstep. Later on, we'll explore some of these other tracks. As it loads, I want you to remember the analog clock symbols of each loop, how it loops around from the beginning at the 12 o'clock setting all the way down past 6 at the bottom and then cycles back up to the 12. Whenever you hit that 9 o'clock region, that's the sweet spot on the loop. So as it gets to the 9 o'clock region, you're going to start the next loop sequence. When we did this last time together, I had you just pick your four favorite loops. But today, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into this and really think about the formatting of the loops. Some of them have a me melody line to them, which you can hum along with, and it's quite easily to recognize. <laughs> If you heard that, it goes ba da 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 da. That's repeating number two. Any time that you have a loop that you can hum a tune along with, that presiding tune that you're humming makes it a melody or a melodic loop set. So we both know. Track number one here and track number two that is still in play mode for me are melodic loop sets. It's important to know that for what we're going to be doing in a later lesson. Take a look at number six. Now, was there an overriding melody on number six that made you think, oh, I can hum along with that? Well, it did have a ba da ba da ba, ba ba da ba da. I would not call this a melody because there's only three notes that it's using. I would call this a rhythmic loop set. Now, the rhythm one is one that kind of develops and creates the beat of your overall sound. So, as you're listening to these different loop sets and as you're considering your own creations, I want you to figure out which of these loops are melodic loop sets, and which of these loops are rhythmic loop sets. I want you to respond to me through Seesaw. For instance, number one, number one, obviously melodic, so you could put melody or melodic. Melodic, it restates the theme. Like we just talked about, it doesn't have a melody. It doesn't have a main idea that you can hum along with. So that one would be a rhythm. What I want you to do is take a little piece of note paper. I want you to explore each of these sets of sounds. And I want you to determine whether they're M for melodic or R for rhythmic. And then I'm going to have a response for you. And I want you to respond and let me know what you think your thoughts are on this. We are going to use this in our next lesson to create even more music with GarageBand.